Generally speaking, Canadian law is pretty similar to the U.S. I mean, we live right beside each other, and it's uh, the, you know, the common law system that we grew up in. But in the copyright area, we've followed the British copyright law, and America has, has its own copyright law that has been built up in a different way over time. Canada has remained out of step of uh, a lot of the advances in copyright law for the past few years and in some crucial areas really has lagged behind the rest of the world. So that's been a concern and I and many others here have been working as hard as we can to get the copyright laws reformed in Canada. Uh, but it's just been a very slow and sometimes frustrating uh, purpose. Anything to do with the internet, uh, they, the Canadian copyright law really started in the early 1900s and has not been uh, worked on very much since then. There have been some amendments, but not large-scale amendments. And so we've been very far behind some of the international treaties, the World Intellectual Property Organization, the WIPO treaties, which have tried to set some minimum standards for things like digital rights management and technological protection measures that are very useful and integral to getting our products out over the internet, just have not yet been implemented in Canada. And as a result, the Canadian society, and it actually quite shocks me to see the figures of uh, illegal downloading in Canada compared to even the United States, where we seem to be four times as likely to engage in uh, illegal downloading, and certainly compared to Europe, where over in Germany, you know, it's amazing the amount of legal music downloading that takes place, people really starting to pay, uh, and almost at the same rate as they're doing the illegal downloading, whereas in Canada, it's a tiny fraction. We're one of the worst countries in the world, and yet we look upon ourselves as being these wonderful, decent people who respect each other. Uh, you know, more than any, we're peacekeepers, and yet here we are being scofflaw freeloaders. Our term now is uh, shorter than the U.S. The U.S. used to be a fixed term, as you know, uh, of number of years. Now it's moved to the life plus 70 years. Canada's still at life plus 50 years. Which is, which is odd. It's one of the things you have to worry about. In the old days, it was the reverse. You could have something that was in the public domain in the United States, and you'd think, oh, I can use this. You'd bring it into Canada, and all of a sudden, it was covered by copyright. It's now more possible that in the reverse, you could have something that's in the public domain in Canada, because the author died, say, uh, you know, like 60 years ago. But in the United States, it's still covered by copyright.